Mark Lambert, Stone Cold Killer. Welcome to Wall Street Sizing Up. We are the only channel that allows you to profit off insider knowledge of the hedge fund bros. Today, two hedge fund bros with their butts puckered. Two, shorty squats with a happy ending. Three, aggressive twerking. Bonus round, flaming hot Cheetos. <laughs> Let's go. We'll try to move fast. We have four stocks. So, first one, AMRS or Amaris. They are Provision Biotech Solutions. That's what they do. They provision Biotech Solutions. It offers its products to health and wellness and clean beauty and flavor and fragrance markets. You went Oasis for men. Okay, men. Okay, okay. Men. Stop it. Men. Stop men. it. Men. Men. Pretty close to God's work. Seven hundred million dollar market cap. Average volume is three million shares a day. See who's sized up on this. Andrew Spokes, Farallon Capital Management. If you don't know him, he's been around for quite a while. We don't see him much, but he does size up occasionally. There's that beautiful man right there. Look at him. 30 years in the business, $29 billion under management. You like to see that. So he knows what's going on. So what we're seeing on, so he got up to about, in the weekly here, it got up to about 7%. Pretty nice chart, and then all of a sudden it does like that sorority squat. In case you hadn't noticed, I'm a motherfucking dwarf. And it just kind of back pedals, right? But here's the thing. When you hit the expand and you go to the monthly, you see it, bam, we got the 27% drop right here. 27 red velocity drop going the wrong way. But here's the thing. Mr. Spokes, he didn't size up until the 14th, right here. Now, he had been in this stock before, back on the, third, the on 6.30. So he was in June 30th, he was in this thing, right? So he probably caught this pump right here. Pretty good pump. That's about 20%. And then when he, he saw this happen, he saw it go down under probably, uh, looks like under 380 or 360 and thought, man, it'd be a good buy again. So guess what he did? That's right, he went hard in the paint. 13 million shares he bought for. A 5.5% stake in the entire company. $36 million, not a lot to him. One million dollars. But for this stock, let me tell you something. He sized up, what does this stand know? What encrypted app is he using? Is he hitting the VPN? Is he pulling the chairman aside? We don't know, but I can tell you what, he's still in this position. This would be a pretty good stock to put on your watch list. I'm giving this a four stars. Bam. Next stock is AFIB, which is Octus Medical. Just wanted to pop on here, full screen and go. They are two hedge fund bros that got in at the same time. It looks like it's an IPO. But believe me, their butts are puckered. Let's go to it. See the daily, and then you see the weekly. Nice little chart, 12%. You'd like to see that. Just flat out chasing the cheddar, hitting the broccoli hard, drinking the watermelon shasta. Shout out to you, Harry Styles. Let's talk about what they do. First of all, they just make medical devices, uh, treatment of cardiac arrhythmias, issues that the body has. Clear. Praise the Lord. Now who invested? Well, we got two high conviction buys from two hedge fund bros. Like I said, first one is Orbamed, $13 billion hedge fund. Let's see what they do. From biopharmaceuticals to medical devices, diagnostics, and healthcare services. Seven Borjo runs Orb Orbamed. They got in for 20% ownership stake. They bought in 5.8 million shares. So let me just put that in context. That's $100 million that they put in Octus Medical. Now they do a little private equity. Clearly that's what this was. So there it is. He got in on the 10th. Now you know who else got in on the 10th? Our friend, James Flynn. Now we've talked about James Flynn. Then run a huge hedge fund but does, uh, does size up often. Same day, he got in on August 10th. Here's the thing, did they get 
get in at the low point on August 10th and get out at the high point for maybe a 1%? I don't think so. I think they're riding this. So, so they rode this thing down to, it went down 12%. Now, again, praise the Lord, it's gone to the upside. It's gone green. The dump and thump has come back up right about the same price to where they bought in at. But again, they're highly convicted. When you put $100 million a piece to investment funds, putting that much in, they're highly, highly convicted. They believe in this stock. I would probably believe in this stock, but let me tell you something. Their butt cheeks are puckered, especially Michael Flynn, when, it, when that's 5% of his portfolio. 5% of his entire portfolio. That being said, I think they're still in the stock. I think they're still in the position. That's why I'm giving this stock three stars. Next up, PRNB, Principa Biopharma. Well, what is this? Let's see. It's a biopharmaceutical company which engages in the design and development of oral therapies to patients with significant unmet medical needs in the immunology and oncology. 3.3% billion dollar market cap trades almost five million shares a day let's see who got into this so it's mark lambert now mark lambert runs the biotechnology value fund this one that, that he invested with was 1.17 billion so he went hard in the paint guys not gonna lie to you and just the weekly definitely took its greens and then what happened here it's a day trader and swing traders pleasure you know they're the rapture with the vertical erection. <laughs> but what screams at the SEC is this. Mark Lambert, who runs a biotech value fund, he has been in the stock since 2018. So he had, prior to this last sale, he had 1.5 million shares. And then all of a sudden, he buys another 3.6 million shares. If you look at that price, that's a $300 million plus price tag to get in that position. Now, the filing says, now what's funny about this is this is kind of where I think that uh, hedge funds can, can play some games, right? So here's Friday the 14th. I think that's where he got in. Now, the filing says the 17th. Why would he get in on the 17th when they're being bought out? See this? That straight line, they're being bought out by Senefin for $100. Why would he buy in right, right there? He didn't. He played a little game. The attorneys played a little game. My opinion. Played a little game. And they took that extra day because that was a Friday. And they didn't want any, anybody to know. Not look suspicious. But good Lord, $300 million on the 14th? Guy about 11% pop on 300 million bucks. Not a bad little profit in like a day. So that's PRNB. I mean, clearly Mark Lambert's a stone cold killer. Hitting that VPN hard. Going hard to paint with the signal. Pulling the chairman to a sidebar. LinkedIn lion. You betcha. Next up is EVH. That would be Evalent Health. When people say they save the best for last, we're not kidding on this channel. Let's go to the stock. Look at the beautiful chart. Yes, the weekly. This is like one of the, it, it's even got a pump, right? This is like one of those stocks that's, it's like a yapper dog, right? Just keeps yapping at you and yapping at you, jumping up and trying to bite you. And finally, it snags your nuts and you notice it. Evelyn Health. Bam. I see you. You're 58% buy. Didn't even know you were out there. What do they do? Looks like they're a tech company. Provision of health care, delivery, and payment services. It deals with population health management, health plan, third-party administration. $1.2 billion market cap. Two million shares traded per day. It's a nice little stock. That's what they do. Now, who jumped on them? A guy named Glenn Willing. Glenn Welling, if I'm saying that correctly. Engaged capital. And when I say engaged, that's what they do. They skip the romance. They go straight to the bedroom and they get engaged quickly. 
you'll see our man here. There, there he is, CIO, billion dollar hedge fund, engaged capital. Engaged capital's efforts and resources are dedicated to a single investment style, constructive activism. That means they get in there, they shake up the management, they fuck some things up, right? And they want to maximize the value of the company. But here's the thing. This company, when you see the chart, you're just going to ask why. Again, constructive activism with a focus on delivering superior long-term risk-adjust returns for investors. I agree with that. They're out of Newport Beach. Point being is, not a bad chart here. You go to the month. Look at that. Let me expand that out for you. Let's go back to the month here. Bam. I mean, this, this stock should have its own Instagram filter. Just beautiful. Beautiful. That's like a turbocharged minivan. I mean, literally, the tire comes off, the spare goes on, and just continues to roll on like the family wagon should. <laughs> then, look at this. We go to the three month. I mean, I mean, it's just a hot leg everywhere. It's just a beautiful sight. You know, that being said, I don't understand because he gets in on the 11th. So let's, let's park it here. 11th. He gets about a 7% return here. Clearly he's an active investor. He's keeping, he's staying, he's clearly in the position. Let me tell you why. He bought in for 8.5 million shares. That is 10% of the entire EVH. It's also 10% of his entire portfolio. Of his billion dollar portfolio, he put in a hundred million dollars. He is clearly gonna shake some things up here. He's gonna rattle that that tree. That's that's what they do, right? But when in doubt you zoom out, right? Let's go to the three months. Beautiful again. Let's go to the year. Now, this is where you see some aggressive rational torquing. But still, from here to here. Now the five year, I can I might can see, but clearly a fifty nine percent in the three month, in the three month, seems like it's going the right way to me. It's got plenty of volume. The float's good. I'm giving this a four stars, and if they can pull more value out of this, clearly it's going to continue to increase. In my opinion, that being said. Four stars, ring the bell. We're the only channel that helps you profit like the hedge fund bros do by investing alongside of them. With that said, watch your six, go hard in the paint, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again.